Can you count how many times you tried using an AI avatar to end up looking like a stiff robot? Oh, too many. It's like talking to a mannequin with Wi-Fi, not to mention those that sound like a broken tape recorder and have an expressionless voice. Exactly. But what if I told you we're not even real? Wait, what? Yep, this entire podcast, AI generated, and it has two people. Our voices are decent. And today, we're going to show you how to take your AI avatar from looking like this to this. Yup, I got an upgrade, and now I can even move my hands while maintaining an expressive voice thanks to DubDub, also the sponsor of this video, which we'll be using today to help us make our own AI podcast with multiple hosts or add a great voice to our engaging avatar with gestures. Step by step, which can be used cleverly to craft an engaging story with consistent characters having expressive voiceovers or even your own voice. So watch till the end and have a look at this. My name's Jim from, uh, from Jimmy Neutron, hey <laughs> hey. Uh, that's funny. Hello, Jim. I'm Sonia. The weather is, uh, kinda nice, eh? Uh, are you okay, Jim? Yeah, I guess. Excuse me a bit. I need to, uh, use the restroom real quick. Uh, yeah, sure thing. Man, I, I totally blew it. Ugh, what's taking him so long? I guess it's time I activate my Dup Dub avatar. Go replace me. Time to impress her. Hey, you're finally back. I actually went to pinch myself, cause there's no way such a pretty lady is single. Oh stop it, you're not too bad yourself. Love your outfit. I'm pretty sure dating you would upgrade my style game. Thanks. I guess it would be fun to go shopping together. We do seem to have the same hair color. Catch you later. What? Let's head over to Dub Dub and sign up. We can look at our credits up here. I'll click on AI image and you can type a prompt like me to get an output image of multiple people for a podcast or a singular avatar. I'll be using this one. Now head to AI avatar and under photo avatar upload the desired face photo, it'll automatically detect the two faces. Here we can type, upload or record our dialogues for each speaker. To then choose a speaker of our choice, I'd recommend the multi emotive ones to choose from and assign it a suitable emotion to select it and get an expressive dialogue and continue this to add audio, selecting the speaker and repeating this till we're done. You can also train your own voice under my voices to add your own or paste an example of a famous character you like. Once done, we'll generate talking avatar to get this result in a few minutes. It's amazing for hosting a podcast channel, isn't it? Yes, especially after making a few edits on CapCut. I get it, adding zooms and transitions to make it more engaging is essential. Although you can go ahead and use the DubDub -dub editor as well to keep it all in one place. But now, let me show you how to get your avatars truly moving. First, let's get a natural voiceover from DubDub -dub by going to AI voiceover and paste your dialogues or part of any script. You can then add pauses or adjust the speed as needed. To then go on to select a voice to suit our character or try some goofy voice and generate it to get the audio file. On either. But you may also record or train your own voice to use. Next, you record a video of yourself moving your hands, facing the camera, pretending to talk. If you're shy like me, just find someone else. Now you can go to CapCut and make this video longer by looping it to be longer than the voiceover length and you're all set to head over to Syncabs to create a new project and upload your video and dub dub voiceover to hit generate. After a five minute break, we get this perfect gestured lip sync of our avatar with a beautiful voice. By the way, if you want a natural avatar like me with no background, make sure the video input does not contain one either. Now, how about I show you how to create a cohesive Pixar style story sequence with key characters using the features we've learned. So here's how you do it. Let's first get our characters in order. First, I'll generate two images, one for the boy at one end of the table and a girl at the opposite end for their date. Now we'll head to Minimax to animate these images to get hand movements, download it and loop both clips to make it long enough to fit all the dialogues of the character. Now we need voiceovers of the dialogues to sync it with. You can get a script by using AI writing and ask for a script with multiple dialogues, but I'll be using my own. I recommend separating the dialogues for each character. Now let's get the voiceovers done selecting voices with relevant emotions and generating it. And then go to Syncabs to create a new project where we will upload our looped video along with the dialogue voiceover we generated. Um, hey. And hit generate to get our gestured video of the character. Let's download and repeat for another character. Once done, we'll also create a few cool photo avatars for the scenes, uploading the photos, selecting the same voice and pasting our dialogues to get amazing talking avatars.
I also recommend creating relevant, consistent images of your character to animate them. For adding more flair, apart from our already existing gesture avatars that we'll be using, you can do it following numerous tutorials on my channel. Once done, all we need to do is put them together in any video editor, adding sound effects to get this. And boom, it's done. So I'd wait no further to get started with Dub Dub. They offer a free trial for you to test out these features. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.